Welcome to the Keepers of the Golden Gate, Session 26, Part 2. I am Ryan, the GM. It's the 15th of November 2019. Here are the players. Hi, I'm Callum. I play the human sorcerer, Lord Eric Greenwood. Hi, I'm Adrian. I play Arya Bluebird, the half-elf druid. Hi, I'm Scott. I play the mighty Crumbard Arabic, uh, a half-orc paladin. Hello, I'm Stuart. I play Reach a Half Elf Monk. Perfect. <laughs> the mighty Crumbar. And, uh, well, 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 Eric gets a, 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 a title. I won't know. Uh, you're Paladin Crumbar Denebic. Mm -hmm. That's how you're known. Uh, I'm a mighty uh, Paladin. <laughs> well done in your introductions. You're doing very well recently. Uh, uh -huh. I think it sorted it. Mm -hmm. Me? Yes. <laughs> I. It just takes practice. I nearly <laughs> added the bashful to the end of yours, but I didn't know how quick Arya was going to be with hers, so I chose not to. <laughs> <laughs> so so I didn't want to like, act with this. <laughs> oh, it's, trust me, it's a... Uh, was it like five-fold more awkward for me? Trust me. Um, so we've got the people leaving the Golden Order Hall, um, the Order Hall, in Glitterhagen, and you're heading out to go find a blacksmith, yeah? yeah? Yeah. Cool. Right, head off, uh, it doesn't take long, pretty easy to find, people are trying to sell stuff in the city, that's the whole point of the city. So, <laughs> now, are you looking for, here's some questioning, cheap or reliable? Those are two Reli different Reli shops. <laughs> Of if it's what? in uh, Crumbar's hands, it's going to look cheap because he's going to break it. Yeah, so I think as well. What's the point? But say reliable anyway. Yeah. <laughs> Poor Crumbar. Um, <laughs> I wish for the goods. Cool. What are you looking for specifically? Like I need to ask. I think you already know. What's that great you said axe. there? A great axe. Okay. Cool. <laughs> and then. Uh, <laughs> Right, cool. You head off to a slightly more reputable uh, blacksmiths, shall we say, because you get people peddling weapons that don't have a forge, but you've got places that have a forge and also sell weapons, you know? So those places seem to be more reputable. And this place is called... Let's try and think of a name for this place. What could it be called? Give me a second, I'll get myself a name. Hmm... The Rusty Barnacle. Well, let's see. This is called... Oh my god, that's so bad. <laughs> it's called Influx. Because why the oh hell Oh god, really? Yeah, it was the first recommendation. I'll, I'll read you the list that I got here from the random generator. Influx, Blazing Trails, Steel Wings, Squeal of Steel, The Smelt Kelt, Forge Away, Ore Store, Smelting Pot, Mind Over Metal, and Flux Deluxe. Oh my god. So you just want, you want influx or flux deluxe? Crumbar, it's your this is your story moment, so Flux Deluxe because Alright, Flux Deluxe. Because obviously I'm I want premium stuff, so I'm gonna go to the shop that has deluxe in its name, you know. There we go. Flux deluxe, a good blacksmith. Okay, and obviously there's a dwarf at the forge. Oh my yeah. god, there's a bob! <laughs> so, you approach the store. This person's hammering away between the anvil and then, like, moving over from the anvil and chucking stuff in the forge, taking stuff out the forge. They've got, like, you know, kind of protective leather kind of face kind of uh, covering, etc. Hair all kind of matted behind them. Big leather apron in front of them. Big kind of, you know, blacksmith's hammer in their hands. Um, clanking away, and they've got like you know racks of weapons just kind of like hanging, suspending, kind of with the light catching them from the city. Mm. And it's obviously this big, wonderful sign called Flux Deluxe. And the letters are all cut out of metal, and inside the letters seems to be like torches, as in like the whole thing's like a trough of fire. So is Flux like Deluxe is lit up. Thing? Yep, you're damn right it is. Flux Deluxe has the best signs. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I can't take it. 
<laughs> right, okay, yep, so in influx deluxe. Um so walk up to the counter and I'm assuming there's a bell or something. Um, the the part that you come to first, the f like the kind of working area is like outside open air, if you will. Um and there's like a big kind of like storehouse attached to the kind of open air section. So you, mm. this uh, blacksmith's outside in the kind of work area. Obviously because mm. it gets very hot so they're outside to keep yeah. themselves like... Alright, in that case um, I'll uh, walk up to Possible Bob the Dwarf. Right. And uh, give him a... Greetings Dwarf. Uh, are you o open for business? And you just hear the kind of clank, 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 and um, they don't seem to have noticed you. Uh, and that because it seemed busy. No. Like, you can like walk around to specifically be like in front of them, if you will, like into like their kind of workspace, if you wanted. Oh right, can I? Oh right, it's, yes, it's, it's all open anyway. Like it's just the uh, the array of their equipment is what seems to make up the walls of the outside part. Of the open right. air space, then yeah, there's yeah. the big um, forge attached to like the the storehouse, which obviously I'll, keeps I'll, all the I'll expensive like stuff. I like to like walk up to his field of view and be like, you know, like right up to him and cough, cough, and just like repeat. Yeah, and uh, like the, the the dwarf looks up, pulls off like the big leather cover from their face, kind of like slides it up their head, mm -hmm. and then like does a big wipe with their uh, their art, their forearm across their mm -hmm. face, and then we get the dramatic reveal of a female dwarf face. Oh, she looks up at you, gender. and she's like, she looks up at you, and she's like, shiny armor. Kind of taps the hammer lightly on it. Makes the kind of ding ding. I just go, dirty hammer, and just kind of brush no, off. Like the, no, the, there's not like a, a single mark on your, uh, yeah. on your armor at all. There's no dirt on her hammer. She taps twice, and then she, she says, "Obviously, nice armor." Tap tap, and then she kind of like is if listening to the sound it made. She goes, "Paladin," and it kind of goes back to like hammering the thing in front of her. Right. Hmm. You know your metal, I see. Wouldn't be a very good blacksmith if it didn't. Imagine all this with a really cool Nordic accent, because I just can't do those. Mm. My default is to make them really Scottish, but all my dwarves are Nordic, so... I, I, I just kind of point at my face and just be like, the first weapons I used were made of crude iron. And she looks up to you and she's like, is uh, do you have business for me? Do I have business for you? As if get to the point, yeah. politely, you know. Right. Uh, I just don't want to say I, the phrase "time is money, friend." <laughs> You're not my friend, buddy. Uh, I ain't your buddy, guy. No, we're not going into that. Uh, I just say, yeah. Well, I take it you're open for business then, and then I pull out my wee hatchet and be like, I need an axe. I like this, but I need it bigger. And she... One worthy enough for killing demons. She like wipes her hands a bit I am on her apron, and she like puts her hand out for the axe. And I like to give it to her. She looks over and she's like, you want this bigger, or you want a bigger axe? A bigger axe. One worthy for the foes I can, I will be facing. Hands you back your axe, and she kind of like stops and looks back at the kind of like the weapons that are just kind of hanging as if they're, like, if they're axes, they're using their blades to like hook onto like a big kind of wooden beam. If they're swords, mm -hmm. they're hooked on with their, their hilts, etc. And they're just kind of like hanging down all the blades. Um, if there was wind, they would all like clink together like a wind chime. Um, and she's looking over them. She's like, "There's a few axes in there. If you want to have a look." Just goes back to hammering. Mm. Can I look through them and can I pick a couple up and swing? Swing it about a wee bit and just realizing the weight of it. 
It's like, hmm, yes. Yeah, and it does. It looks really uh, like as it's got like the kind of dwarven mm. geometric I, edges to it. If that makes sense. Um, can I maybe roll insight to see if any of them stand out in particular? It would be perception because you can't perception, really insight yeah, so an axe. That's a new really? thing. I mean, I, I say Sorry, that yeah, really perception. loosely, but yeah, you could roll perception, I guess. Whoop. See what and. It's I mean, this one that you're holding is the biggest. So I like that. There's lots of uh, like great axes there, but this one is the biggest. It's got the biggest two uh, like double axe heads on it as well. Mm. Um, and as I said, most of the designs are dwarven, um, and they all have that kind of geometric kind of edging to it, and kind of like Celtic braiding all the way through it. Um, so it's quite ornate looking. It's quite pretty. And it is a. Um, Gives me. Gives me back, Smith. And she kind of stops, puts her hammer down. It's like. What's your name, Paladin? Funny, I was just about to ask yours. My name's Crumbar. She kind of nods. Goes, me? I'm Roberta. Good. We know each other. Do you want That's the axe good... or not? This is a damn fine axe. We... You crafted these all yourself? All me. You can hmm. see if... Uh, and she kind of nods like... It's my sigil on there. Friends Just call kinda... me Bob. Hooray! Um. Alright. And I just kind of um, chant and go, all right then, Bob. They We're seem not good enough. Yet, friend. <laughs> These seem good enough for slaying demons, wouldn't you say? It's not my job to slay demons. It's my job to make axes. How much are your ax? How much for this? And then, uh, like, bring it here. Puts her hand out for it. Just bring it over and, like, pass her it. And, and like, she does that thing where she, like, turns it over in her hand, looks over, and she's, like, like, I'd, like taps it like a staff, it. if you know what I mean, um, on the ground mm. and such. And she goes, 45 gold, serious today. go a wee bit. <laughs> I have six Dean on me, bro. <laughs> uh, you do have two friends with you. Mm -hmm. And if you sell us, we'll remember it. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Reach will remember this as you've been sold. <laughs> <laughs> your, price, your price is quite high. I need this act. For a mission that I'm having to do that will determine the safety of Glitterhagen. She does that thing where she exhales loudly, puts her hands on her hips, and she's like, You don't obviously need it that much. I currently don't have that amount of wealth on me. And she just kind of like looks up and down, kind of taking in the fact that you're head to toe gold. <laughs> she just uh -oh. kind of stares at you. No, it's more of a you don't have any money, Mister. I am wearing gold armor. It's more of a disbelief look yeah. than than give me your armor look. <laughs> to to be honest, I quite expected Crumbar to be like, but I have a rich friend. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> That's when okay. it comes up. <laughs> is he though? <laughs> yeah. Is he though? <laughs> Um, you go, don't let the armor fill you. This is on loan. And then she looks at you and she goes, hmm, maybe uh, she walks over, puts that axe back on its like rack, and then like, it goes over to like another one, which is just like a kind of, it's a one-headed axe, um, considered a battle axe to many. And she's like, 15 gold for this one. 
Does it still class as a great axe? No, it's a battle axe. Hmm. That's not... That that weapon is not big enough for what I need. Mine needs to be great. She, like, she kind of like harumphs to herself. Men and their weapons. She kind of says mostly to herself. <laughs> she just looks at you and she's like, Listen. That's 45 gold. Come back when you have it. And she just goes back to her work. Okay, no. it, puts the battle axe back on the rack, goes back and just I, starts I working assume, I assume Reach and Aria are still with me? <laughs> no, they <Yeah. laughs> wandered off. Leave him to it. He's got himself a bird. Um, yeah, they're, they're obviously still with you. Friends. We're probably if just we... outside because, you know, I'm not very much into my weapons, but... Yeah. And like it would have been easy enough to hear that entire exchange. Do you know what I mean? She's not particularly quiet. He's not particularly quiet. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Yep. Friends, I if we are to succeed, I'd need that act. Can any of you help me? I'm sure I can help you. I require forty-five gold. I can't help you 45 gold. <laughs> I have 16. I can spare 20. Then I'm just pulling them up because, you know, I like nature. I don't need money, you know. How much have thing. you got? Like, Aria is you go. all of your money. Oh. So 16, that would be me at 35. So I'd need 10. 10. Right, not a problem. You've got 10. Yay! Well, that so, doesn't add up, by the way. You've got one extra, but yeah. Oh. Yeah. Cool. Okay, so, so I does everybody want to adjust your goal then on your character sheet? In there, done that. Cool. Mm -hmm. <laughs> cool. So I have or turn back round to um, our dear Roberta. dear Roberta the yep. dwarf. Mm -hmm. Obviously, a very Norwegian name, of course. Uh, yep, Roberta. Roberta. She like stops climbing I... away and then like lifts her leather kind of cap up again and she looks back at you. You're back quick. I told you I need this axe. She's just waiting. Would you take 40? Yes, 40 and 5. <laughs> I like you, dwarf. Here. And then I uh, kind of place the money down on... I'm assuming we're standing at our anvil. So I place the 45 down on our anvil. Cool. Uh, she takes it, bites one of them a bit. And then nods. And she's like... Looks at it like... Do you want a strap for it? Yes, please. She like walks away, puts the gold into like the kind of storehouse, um, lifts up, just off like a big rack where it's just like leather strips. Um, takes the axe, the great axe, off the the rack itself, and just slides it into the kind of leather loop, and hands it to you. Kind of throw it on my back and go, well, this was interesting, dwarf. She puts like her hand out. To shake yours. I shake her hand. She grabs like you by the the wrist. You grab her by the wrist. She does the kind mm. of deep shake of uh, bro shake. Yeah, the bro shake, and then uh, she uh, kind of half mumbles, half recites. Tell your friends about Flux Deluxe. Good axes. Nods at you and then just shuffles back to her anvil. Mm -hmm. There we go. Sure, I'll tell you. Tell all my friends about Flux Deluxe. Five go to friend. She's already went back to her anvil and starts hammering. <laughs> right. Like that was mostly her sales pitch that she doesn't really believe in, but you know <laughs> mm -hmm. that's what she recites anyway. Good old Roberta. Just turned around and I'm like, "Thank you. I'll find a way to repay you." Yeah. 
And that's the reach scenario. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. I think 10 gold, then you've done it. <laughs> 30 gold in total. But yeah, cheers. <laughs> no problem. Area? Adrian? Yes? Anything? You say that? Yes. I just nod my head and I'm like. Yeah, it's like. I hope you're happy now. Yeah, it's like gold doesn't mean much to me. As so mm -hmm. long as you're happy, sure. So, so basically, yeah. you're just sitting there with a smile. Oh, no, an oak tree for Aria. You can give me my gold back later. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's fine, I'll just say. Well, Aria. No, I'll probably want it back later, but just the mm -hmm. idea of, like, I don't, you know. Well, I have so no I was, use for it now. I was hoping you would say something there, so I'll just do it instead. Um, well, Aria, uh, I, I'm I am done here. Uh, we're to, are we heading back to Eric? I nod my head. I'm like, yes, I should hope you're done here. I don't have any... I don't have much more money to give you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Reach? Yep. All ready. Yep. Nothing else to yep, do yep. in the city, the lower city then? No. No, no I wouldn't say yeah. so, no. Aria, on the way back. I'll... Maybe if there's like a book. Actually, no. Let's see if Eric has one of those books. Never mind. <laughs> yeah, just say, but before we leave, I just say to Aria, Aria, hey, Aria yes? if we're all done, uh, would you like to continue with our lessons? Absolutely. Yes, I was actually just going to, um, may say maybe maybe Eric had a a book in his uh. You know, he's bound to have a library somewhere uh, mm -hmm. about Inferno as well. So, yes, absolutely, if that's okay <laughs> with you. I'd love to keep learning. Come by this, like, so we bit confused, like, you learn languages from a book? <laughs> okay, now, like, the only you can two... learn all sorts of things from books. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's just that kind of way. I'm like, I just learned this from a vision. <laughs> like, okay. You and your funny ways. <laughs> right, yeah, I'm kind of so shaking my head at him. On the way back to Eric's, I'll just start. Yeah, it would be like. Firecracker? Yeah, it would be firecracking oh, all around the place. Uh, thanks, Ryan. You're welcome. That was... Yeah. So you start just mumbling in Infernal on the way back? Mm -hmm. To each other. Probably not very loudly, just saying. Yeah, okay. It's not the type of thing you really want to be... It's not Doing in illegal, oh, okay. but it's uncomfortable, okay. right? <laughs> oh, okay. Well, just, just, it wouldn't Fine. be like that we're actually having... Like I, a... I would probably notice if people are giving us some weird glances and I'd be the one stopping us. I think people are going to oh, give you weird like, glances anyway, more but yeah. Com... It's not like we're having a full-on conversation, it's more like... This means this, and this can be interpreted as this, and this is this. Now you try. Yeah, but you're still speaking in the front. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Like, even just saying, hey, in Infernal, would make somebody feel uncomfortable. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> With those weird cracking fire log noises. Yep. <laughs> uh, yeah, so use head back. Um, yeah. Eric. Hello. Hello. Welcome back. So, the reason why obviously both your sisters are excited about the idea of having a dinner is because the dining room hasn't been used since your parents went missing. Yeah, no, I, get, I covered as much. Yeah, so obviously it's kind of like a proper formality thing. It's obviously, it's when people would visit the house, right? And the ability to like, meet new people because you probably didn't get out much. Um, you probably grew up and had loads of childhood friends in uh, High Rock, so that would have been where most of your childhood friends were. Then you just got moved to Glitterhagen, so you didn't really have much in the way of childhood friends, and yeah, you can imagine the noble children of the other houses, etc., being super cool, right? So having guests over at the house was obviously always fun. Which is maybe why it's exciting to like dust off the dining room that way. Um, 
So, do you go and get like if you're? Where do you take the canna? Oh, I ain't got a clue. Um. <laughs> I should probably add her to the uh, NPC list as well. <laughs> yeah, I've I've been jotting it all down on my um, my own sheet, but I'll throw it on the NPC list a bit when I find it. I can't remember what it is. Um, wait, I don't know. Maybe I take. Well, I mean, do you even do you even loop your hand in? Her yeah. Hand? Okay. I loop my hand. I loop my hand in and go. Can I have the honor of knowing more about you, Lady Sophie? Even if she told me to call it the cannon, but whatever. And then, so first of all, I love the, you know, inversion of her putting her like obviously arm out for you to rest yours in. I like that, first of all. Um, so you can obviously tell straight away that she's not necessarily one for um, traditions or formalities that way. Um, even though she pretty much stated that. And then as you say, you know, can I have the honour of learning more about you, Lady Sophia? She kind of um, digs into you a little bit with her elbow, playfully. And she says, please, don't. It's Dukana. It Honestly. I inherited the title, and she kind of like gestures vaguely to herself, like, "What does that mean?" You know, um, and she kind of like laughs it off a bit. You inherited it, the kind of? And she like goes perfectly. Like, no, the lady part. Oh, where from? <laughs> My parents were lords and ladies. And what family? You know how lordships work, right? She kind of smirks at you. Yeah. Right. You know how you became Lord Eric Greenwood because you inherited it from your family. Well, yes. That's how like I became Lady Sophia. <laughs> <laughs> and she just laughs. Like, oh. why, why am I explaining this? <laughs> I'm tired, leave me alone. <laughs> oh, you say that to her? Let's go. Because you're a well rested, friend. <laughs> well, I just poured uh, a lot of magic into my hammer, then teleported, and I still haven't rested yeah. from that, so I'm still sort of fatigued from that. I'm kind of. I just, I just say, I'm fatigued from travel. And you, like, as um, your arms look through, she's kind of tracing, like, your. Tattoo scars with like one of her fingers. Did they hurt? No. Uh, sometimes you said to me what you're up to. <laughs> That's just that when he gets hit by heavy things like wyverns, <laughs> it hurts. <laughs> um, so yeah, she stresses her fingers like over them kind of absent mindedly as if they're kind of like they've caught her eye, obviously. Like her eyes maybe light up slightly more bluer in the reflection of your glowing vein tattoo things. And um She's like What do what do they mean? As you are slowly walking through the garden towards the house again. It means I've cast magic. And then she like and... she grips like your arm tighter, like excitedly. And kind of like half turns towards you instead of both of you walking towards us. She's like, you can cast spells, and she kind of shivers a little bit at it. I guess she got like a look of kind of like almost mischief on her face. I can. Some of them are incredibly loud, though. What can you do? And she looks like super excited and super eager, but like in that kind of, I'm trying to contain my excitement. Probably similar to why, this is probably why Horn like Madeline go on, right? With my other hand, I kind of rub it in and go, mostly thunder, a little bit of lightning. Can you, and she looks like left and right, like, would it be too much to ask to see some? I kind of smile and go, hmm. We'll have to find somewhere appropriate to cast it. I don't want my servants jumping out of the skin thinking we're under attack or something. And I think at that point, exploded. like, the, the camera zooms away out and you're isolated in this huge garden. 
And then she looks <coughs> around, left and right, she goes, I think we're quite alone. You get anything that doesn't involve, like, <laughs> Yeah, like attacking that. Lady the Kana Sophia. <laughs> yeah, I know. With... <laughs> Do it as well, like. Hmm. like boom. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna like. Lights. Okay. Lights. Yeah, that's what I was gonna do. My lights. lights. I just wave my hat. <laughs> Don't ruin it, Stu. That could be the beautiful thunder <laughs> wave. <laughs> yeah, that oh, that would have been so much fun. No, I just Kana. I've just met this new family friend, and now she's dead. Yeah. <laughs> Even better, I could just so the step with this her. This potentially <laughs> rich family friend, do you know what I mean? Oh dear, so good. <laughs> That's good, I like that. Oh dear. Good mm -hmm. gifts. I go, sure, this is one of my easiest spells to cast, and just like, cast a little... Dancing lights that kind of like say like... before you even get to the like the gesturing and the, the verbal components while she stops to she's like not easy. Make it fun. Just kinda grin and go. Well I've been kind of experimenting with a spell. Would you like to see this one? And she she kinda looks at you and she's like Would I? She kinda like grins. <laughs> I'd say, hold on tight. And then she grips really tight to your arm. And then I thunder step. Where? <laughs> Within 90 feet. <laughs> hmm. I would like to think there's a fountain uh, that I can see. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's going to thunder step toward the fountain. Yeah, cool. Uh, so, yeah, how does this look? So, as I as I grin, my eyes uh, glow blue. The like the air surrounding me in the kind of kind of just like starts rumbling, and like with that with a uh, just before the big bang goes off, we uh, I don't know like kind of thunder towards the fountain, mm -hmm. and we just like it's like I don't know. It's like um, if you can see the uh, the place, it kind of zooms towards you, and you're there. Okay. And you're yeah. Big, big loud bang behind us. Like a bit like a kind of crackling of lightning as it kind of like almost like flows off of you as well as you can like shake it off when you're um you like appear uh, near the fountain, and you kind of like hear her like inhale very quickly before you jump in the spell, and then the boom as you land with her kind of going and exhaling really loudly as if obviously just physically unable to not react that way um, and she like kind of like one of her hands like lets go of your arm really quickly and she like grips like her kind of stomach and she like presses against her stomach and she kind of like bends over a little bit and she, she kind of goes woo whew, butterflies and she kind of just smiles at you and then, uh, I smile back and look back to who. Hopefully, I haven't caused too much damage. I mean, the lawn is damaged. Yeah, <laughs> maybe a bit of a, a hedge. Uh, it was caught in the the blast. Because what is it? Something like ridiculous, like three D eight nonsense. Yeah. Um, shall, shall I roll it to see how much damage I did? Well, I mean, cast the spell, right? You may as well cast it because you have done. Yeah. 16 damage to all the blades of grass. The hedge fails its constitution save, I can tell you that much. Um, Poor hedge. Is this yeah, got sound at all? Um, I believe it's a loud thunder's boom. Is it though? I'm trying to check the spell description. And we'll double Immediately check. after you disappear, a thunderous boom sounds at each creature. <laughs> oh, wait, no. <laughs> it oh, the thunder can be heard up to 300 feet away. Cool. <laughs> so there is just this massive boom. <laughs> Gods. Yeah. Luckily, the others are too busy in the loud under city or lower say under city lower city. Nah, both are good. Um, to like hear that. Um, but yeah, just like, is it always so loud? A lot of it's really loud. Yes. Just. 
she kind of like laughs at it a bit, um, almost like a kind of not a forced laugh, but like an automatic laugh, if that makes sense, like a polite company laugh. And she stops herself because, as if maybe that's not the right thing to do here. And then she turns and she says, "And what better way to announce yourself?" Very true. And then um, she says, "Can you take us back to the house? Sure, with magic." <laughs> she looks at me and goes, "No, let's walk and talk more." Yes. Um, and she kind of like puts her arm out again for you. Just <laughs> a grin with a little giggle and hook and go. Okay, let's yep. walk and talk. And then uh, you just head back to the house. So, unless you have anything specific you want to ask her now, now would be the time to bring it up before we time skip to when you all arrive in the house again. God knows. It'll be small talk, and I'm not good with small talk. So, is that what the conversation is? Is it just awkwardly her leading the conversation a lot then on the way back? Well, no, I personally, I'm not very good at small talk. Whether Eric is, I don't know. <laughs> well, why don't you roll. I don't know. Performance Christmas. It depends. Is it persuasion? Charisma? <laughs> um, yeah, it, yeah it would just. Charisma? It would. It would be charisma. Yeah. I suppose it's adequate. Uh, Better that, than me. That's reasonable. Yeah, that's reasonable. Um, I'd be like a good five. <laughs> <laughs> um, you can roll it again because I was going to say you can have advantage on this because she's impressed with the magic. So. Cool. <laughs> It's okay, we'll oh, take the 14. Can you also roll insight for me? Cool. Wow, you're really keeping it within this bracket, aren't you? <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> 13 to 16, it's good. <sighs> okay. Um, yeah. You are used to this kind of company where a lot of what she's saying seems automatic. And by that, you know if you meet someone, you would say a certain set of phrases in a certain tone, in a certain way. And you would pause to let them say their bit, and then you would say your bit, etc. Like, noble formality. And you can kind of see that she's fighting that, if that makes sense, to kind of come across more natural. There's something just weird about the way she's speaking, but it seems to just be because she's trying not to be, Oh, I'm Lady Sophia. You know, daughter of Lord and Lady Sophia, etc., etc., etc. So she's trying to be Takana with you, right? So there's this yeah. weird duality to her that you can kind of pick up on, but you're not sure if it's just because she's being polite to you or if it is because she's trying to actually be real. So you're not 100% sure whether she's. What's the word I'm looking for here? entertaining you right yeah in that sense putting up with you or if she's genuinely like no I want to be me with this person but who is me under all the bullshit formality of nobles um, so yeah you have that kind of small talk all the way back to the the house and as you get to like the doors uh, one of the servants kind of rushes out to meet you and says your your guests have returned um uh, and it prompts you for a. Are we inviting anyone else for dinner this evening? Um. I don't know if the can is part of that. I mean, I feel like Madeline invited her. Yeah, and it's gonna be like. I think we've got everyone. I mean, whether or not the can is gonna stay. Is maybe up to you, but yeah. So I think maybe in that moment where that servant's like, "Are we inviting anyone else to dinner this evening?" Um, and he kind of looks at her awkwardly, but looks back at you like professionally. <laughs> um, Tatiana, are you dining with us tonight? Chair looks and goes. No, no, I would not impose. You have guests. I mean, more the merrier. 
your wow, your way to make a girl feel welcome, right? Uh, yeah, she um, she kind of like shakes her head a little bit and she, and she like, lets go of your arm now that she's got obviously like a servant in front of her. Um, she kind of stands up more straight and she's like, it would be late, unfortunately. I will um, I will return, I for Madeline tomorrow. It was pleasant. She kind of smiles at you. I smile and nod my head in a little inclination. And then um, tilts her head ever so slightly. And then she kind of just turns on the spot and heads through the house towards like the way out, essentially the entrance. So now if you want to officially invite her, Eric, you maybe want to make her feel special or you let her go. This is your choice now as she's walking down the hall away from you. Special? I don't understand. Well, you were like, oh, the more the merrier. And she's like, I'm not going to impose. So if you had invited her, she would attend. Think of it that way, right? She's a noble lady. She's not in a position. She's going to make the night or whatever. Huh? Can you think mm-hmm. that's right? So, yeah. 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 Right, you rolled a five. You're a lord. You're <laughs> supposed to know how to act in these situations. <laughs> yeah. Eric might know, but Callum doesn't know. Yeah, so the gist of it is, you've went, oh, you know, you're not imposing. But that isn't saying, would you please join me for dinner? Versus you saying, oh, the more the merrier. So, yeah, okay, you can you can you can have that pile of people. It'd be a boring night without you, or blah blah blah. Yeah, like gonna... you know, you're dip- basically saying you don't care either way. Like she yeah. can come, but you don't mind if she doesn't. That sort of thing, which to a lady of her status, she's probably too proud <laughs> to go somewhere where she's not wanted. So she would expect like a proper fancy yeah. invitation, and I wouldn't be surprised if she was quite upset yeah. the way. You- are you what? okay there, Scott? Yeah, expect that from Crumbar, not... He's sleeping, in. Scott? <laughs> I'm just going... <laughs> I've, I have muted him for now. Um... I'll uh, call him to hopefully wake him up. Yeah, we'll um, deal with that as we go. So, uh, Eric. You have him muted, oh well. Yeah, I've, I've muted him. Muted. Yeah, I've muted him as well. Um... I was going to say, I just meet him for my audio. Um, now, are you letting her walk away, Eric? Or are you... Then again, we're not forcing the issue. You're right. Eric would know the protocols, so... I'm just trying to get into that sort of mindset, because it's like... I know it's a bit foreign for me. But that's how it would work, right? Like, she's not going to impose. It's not her place to invite herself to your house for dinner, which is what you've said. You've tried to make it really casual, which is fine for someone like Crumbar, who would be like, yeah, cool, I was expecting you to feed me, you know, versus... But she's walked off now, so I can't. No, I said she's walking off. This would be the moment if you wanted to. Right, I don't know what to say, (laughs) but can Eric do that? Because I, Callum, don't know at all. Okay, so if you were going to invite someone to dinner, how would you say that? I don't know. Like, would you do you want to come eat? Okay, so can we noble that up a bit? Yeah, you want it along the lines of it wouldn't be a dinner without you. It wouldn't be a meal worth having without you or something like that, right? Yeah. But I mean, that, oh, so it has to be quite grandiose. It basically just needs to mean... I would be honoured if you did join us, though. Yeah. Yeah, that would be even better. Okay. So... Why not? (laughs) 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 I thought this is a dating advice channel now. (laughs) (laughs) Well... (laughs) I mean, okay. I don't know how to approach this situation. It's... You I could just, like, so the best thing is you could be like Dukana, and then you could like close the gap between the two of you. I don't want more of this awkward crap though. 
You might have to find a new RP then. I'm sorry. This is the whole game for me now. It's too good. <laughs> <No. laughs> she wouldn't even need a new wardrobe. She's already in your house colours. It's perfect. I, I know. <laughs> I just thought, um... What? I, I, okay, okay. So, I'll, um... <coughs> Dakana, would you please have dinner with me tonight? And she kind of turns around and she says, If I'm not imposing, that would be delightful. And she smiles. Of course not. I'd be honoured if you would accompany me. And then she kind of nods and she says, Have one of your servants let me know when to attend, and I shall return later. Of course. Until later. She kind of like over exaggeratedly courtesies. Uh, until then, my lord. And she uh, smirks and walks away. Uh, don't make me do that more. That's like cringy. You made a noble character, man. I, I know, I was not expecting that. <laughs> yeah, imagine having to deal with other nobles. Oh my god. <laughs> In a role-play game? <laughs> Excellent. Uh, yeah, so... She walks off. Because um, obviously it's still early, do you know what I mean? Still very early in the day. Uh, what do you guys do for the rest of the day? Until dinner? I need to go make um, a start with the trade. I'm trying to think of who I'd go to. I imagine... It's almost I'd like probably... there was another noble house there that you might have made connections with as well. Could have got a trade ring on the go. Where would I you mean, find that? I mean, that can wait till dinner. <laughs> I mean... I guess I'll go speak to my older sister about that. She can deal with it. Okay. Yeah. And, uh... Because I might, I might not be around to constantly deal with that, so... Yeah, you're going to literally say, So I've got you uh, a whole load of new responsibilities, sis. Goodbye. Again. I'm going to go play with my friends. Again. <laughs> I've got to be with a pie. I've got to go help save the world. Yeah. Um, right. Let's go and deal with that in a second. What is everyone else going to do until then? Like, so you all... As you're maybe about to leave to, like... Or maybe as you're like heading through the, the house to go find your sister, you bump into everybody else, conveniently. Mm. One second, is he still snoring away? Still with us? Uh. Oh, yep, he's still snoring away. <laughs> <laughs> yep. He must have been tired. <laughs> you could say he was on a break. Sorry, I can't, um, it's okay. He's, him he's gone. I'll, I'll ring him on Facebook, but I don't think it's going to... No, I tried Facebook. You record them and just put up the video on Facebook. <laughs> 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 um, well, I mean, it's going to be on the. Uh, yeah, they could record again. Anyway, so we, we, we've got it. It's immortalized, you know. Um, let's see if I can find them on Facebook. Dear God, good old Scott. Come uh, on, Friday can be a turn evening. Anyway. Yeah, no, definitely. <laughs> Two three seconds, guys. I'll let this. Yeah, well, that can ring just now. Um, right, okay, so you all bump into each other in the hallway, conveniently. Crumbar's just looking at his shiny new axe, obviously. Yeah. Making funny uh, noises <laughs> at <laughs> 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 Uh, Next turn, Mom. Right, uh, let's see, yeah. So, get you up to the area, okay. We met the golden, spoke with the golden circle, the golden worm's not been seen for a, a while anyway, I guess, but yeah. Uh, but there's trouble up north, there's trouble just outside the city. Uh, a few, few couple of weeks north. Yeah. Uh, orcs, uh, what do you call them, Kenny? Bewitched orcs, not... Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Bewitched orcs are attacking uh, villages at random, which is 
apparently unlike them. Yes. That's... It's quite unlike them. Mm. Are they, are they how... unnatural somehow? Yeah, unnatural. It might be related to down south. That's... So we want to try and get some time to investigate that as well. That's... It's all mounting up at the moment though. Mm. He's investigated. Well, at some point we do need to go back to Horizon. Um, that might be... We might need someone to go there more or less as fast as we can to tell the story about what's going on, but maybe not till after tonight. Let everyone get rested, sort and sorted in this, in my estate. Um, the orc problem, it's unlike them, so there's, like I said, there's, it's probably related to the hell holes. Um, if, if we have to, if you guys want to go to Horizon or whatever, go ahead, but I feel like I have to stay here and look after my family. If they're under threat, I, I can't lose it. I'm sorry. Well, I was hoping we could head to Justoria and then get back here as quickly as we can and then uh, try and go out and investigate this as a group because we could certainly deal with it better together. But we do also need to let Justoria know what's happening. Hopefully she will be able to deal with the portals without our help and we could just come straight back, well, back as quickly as possible. And if she does need our help, I can't leave the city undefended. Actually, well, it could be for a few hours or so. But the city's not undefended. The Golden Circle's here. Golden Order has Order. the Paladin Order. They're understaffed, but the city guards are like supplied by the king, right? The Wizard King has an army. Yeah. Like mm. the city guards are in all the cities, except seemingly Horizon. Weird that, eh? <laughs> <laughs> Weird that, yeah. yeah. My... I'm sorry, but I. I just couldn't, I, with this threat looming near, this close to my household, I can't leave them. I'm not, I'm not having the, a similar issue of losing more family members. Eh, you'll be one of them. That's but right. Okay, we've still got a bracelet anyway, so we can uh, use that and let it just store it and know. But it means though we'll be months before we can come back to help you. Hmm. Yeah, I understand. I just, I can't let go of my family. Like I'm too. Like even if these orcs come close, I, they've never attacked before. So you're saying they've been changed, altered, or whatever. They could be stronger. They, we don't know where. Uh, like their strength, their numbers. But they are stronger. That's... Yeah, I, I just can't leave my family. Not again. Out of character here. Mm -hmm. It's hardly a party if you can't leave the city. <laughs> ever. Well, it's not ever. It's um, the the threat of the orcs up north is concerning Eric like a lot. He's uh, already he's already lost start, his parents. Uh, if you start heading north, we'll probably beat you. <laughs> <laughs> I could be going east, south, or west. Uh, well, it's north. <laughs> <laughs> um. No, it's a valid point though, right? So, again, regardless of the out-of-party out conversation we're having now, having a character, obviously with a, a desire to be like, well, no, I obviously don't want to leave my home to the mercy of potential orcs when nobody seems to be able to specifically stop them except potentially us, dot dot dot. Obviously, if Scott was still awake and with us, He'd probably chime in with something about I'm Crumbar and this is an orc problem and I'm an orc and I will solve the orc problem. Dot dot dot. But that's mostly just repeating what you said to Slelbus um, from earlier. Who knows what his opinion would be now? I think I know it's probably something to do with he has a great axe now. So there, therein lies the hitting people with the great axe. The other thing is, yeah, you're completely right. There are so many things currently to do that 
yeah, w at what point do you start letting people down, right? So, I think you just need to have that conversation properly, like, in character. Like, Arya's been kind of quiet on their little back and forth, so maybe the tension between... Yeah, obviously... she's been, like, you know, ping-pong sort of match, kind of like... Because they're both valid, What's right? Like, on? it's like, we do have yeah, responsibilities yeah, yeah, exactly. with just Dory, but at the same time, Eric has responsibilities to the Rainwood family and the city of Glitterhagen, so, yeah. And Eric's your best bet for making the travel distances almost non-existent. So, yeah. <laughs> so, Arya, maybe at this point you see Reach being like, well, we need to go let just Doria know about what's happening. And then obviously yeah. Eric's like, I can't leave the city unprotected. Maybe that's when Arya jumps in. Yeah, I mean, I'd probably chime in by saying... But it won't be unprotected. This city is probably one of the safest places your family could be in. However, if this evil goes unchecked, what's to say it won't gain enough strength to come here? What's to say all the things that all the places that we thought were uh, unbreakable, that had unbreakable defenses, suddenly become vulnerable? I think it's best to nip this into the into the bud. Mm -hmm. How close are you guys to your families? That's in character. Uh, never met them. And you, Harry? Actually, no. I was, was going to say, yeah. they were alive. And mm -hmm. yes, I went to help them. Mm -hmm. But even so, I've always been the sort to try to to focus on the big picture. Say you've lost... And the long term. Say you lost whoever protected you and looked after you while you were younger. And oh, you then had to step up. Yes. Yeah. So I, can't, I can't leave my family again. I can't leave my sisters. Well, would you, would you uh, leave the person there in the past to die if you had the chance? I was too young. They, they've not gone. Young, and they're still alive down south. I understand that you need, you guys need me to take you to Horizon. Technically we just need to take yours back. Hmm. Uh, is Krumbar away? No, but we were all put on a mission yes. together. Say, how does your bracelet work? Does it bring the story to us or what? Yeah. 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 Right. I would believe so because we were given it in case we were in trouble. So that would imply that wherever we are, she would be able to to find it, us. It also mean it takes to the story. Whether we're in so the... True. From what she said originally, she said break it it's a, like a one-use thing, essentially. Um, from what you've gathered, because you don't know how it works, but yeah. she did kind of hint that she would be... she'd know to come to you. That was yeah. the kind of... Cool. the vagueness Absolutely that you've put it. together. Yeah. Use it, get her here, tell what's happening down south, and then yeah, leave that to her. And then shoot up north? Certainly, we can do this. But I'm just thinking in the long run, are we are we going to abandon the mission Celeste put us on? It's not abandoning it. We don't know if they have any like ties to it up north. I personally need to make sure my my home is safe before I can continue on this quest. And how long do you think that would be for? Actually, though, nobody is safe. Is there city. Uh, a mm. timeline of, of when you point believe point. this would be done? Because are you looking to hire some guards to take care of your family, or what is your plan? Usually, the city's defense would be enough, but if the villages are being attacked, there is, I imagine, there is some sort of. Um, 
presence of uh, the military of Glitterhagen or the Royal Army patrolling near these villages being attacked, if they're not enough to prevent them, and there's a bi- there's a big horde of them, they could attack the city. I'm not, I'm not leaving until we know the how f- threatening they are. The, the one thing I'd like to just interject with for my own comedic effect here is that I love how to find that out, you need to leave the city and go north. Yeah, I know. So um, two weeks north. <laughs> <laughs> so um, but, yeah. like, it is a good Close. point. Like, I think you you have a couple of options, right? Just from a kind of summary thing. Because, um, obviously, I'm not in the habit of letting people argue in character if that makes sense. I don't mind it from a story point of view if you have opposed points mm. of view but you get to the point where you just need to make a decision. So the things to look at you need to obviously Reach wants to inform Gestoria of what you found. The only thing is though you seem to be making the assumption that the hellhole you went to was south with the hammer and from this horizon. this will be north right? No no I mean, the one where they fought the red robed guy. Yeah. You don't know where that was. Was it not? No. Well, you went through a red portal to get to it. Yeah. I thought I one was there, there and one was like there. So, the ones your story I pointed out were, hmm. you know, near the Direwood and <laughs> several hundred miles away from Axis, the other one. But you only know you walked to the Direwood. Oh, right. So we don't actually know what that other, where that other one was. Correct. Hmm. So, Eric could probably get you back there if he used the hammer, right? Because he's been there. Mm-hmm. Doesn't mean you say he knows where it is, but the hammer does, right? Because it was there. Assuming that's how that works. Um, so that's one thing I just want to highlight. So... What's the plan to inform your story that you went somewhere and did something and maybe it's okay now? Or because obviously she probably want you probably want to inform her. By the way, this thing called the Herald come out of the ground. Yeah, that's probably, probably worth saying that to her. Yeah, um, you could always get word to Justoria through literally super mundane means. You know, hide them in trade negotiation documentation. <laughs> mm. This is true. It would take longer though, but it that would be. Yes, yeah, he's been speaking. But yeah, it could be um, lots of documentation, right? But maybe not. Um, it's up to you guys what you want, but that's an option. If he, That's if Eric can get the trade stuff set up, right? With Horizon. Um, most of that's just signing documents, like putting the family seal on things and letting the sister do most of it if she's going to agree to it. Mm-hmm. Um, so that's an option. Obviously, you could just let Eric charge up, use the hammer and visit Horizon again. Um, that's a thing you could do. Uh, so yeah, you've got a few options. Um, out of character, you've got an investigate orcs up north. You've got set up trade stuff. You've got informed Justoria. Uh, Celeste's mission, which would be please give her the black fanged spear. <laughs> Inform the Great Gold Worm, which Slalba said he would do if he could. Um, uh, but that's if he can. What else have you got? Anything I've missed? I think that's roughly everything. Uh, right? Help the Golden Order down south. Yeah, like kind of reinforce um, the Citadel, essentially, really. Like, right. yeah. I've kind of lumped that in with the whole Gil problem as well, though. Right. Like yeah. I, they are separate, but it's the same gist. That area is bad. Mm. <laughs> um, that would probably be enough. But yeah. yeah, right. Definitely. <laughs> Getting the Great Gold Worm to be involved would be enough, quite frankly. Uh, but yeah, so you've got those to deal with. How you want to go about prioritizing them is really up to you guys. Um, what is? We know Eric's biggest threat is the personal one, and we know Reach wants to speak to. Actually, that's the point. Bring a family with us. <laughs> what? Bring them with us if you're worried about them. Right, so do, let's go back into RP then, right? And we'll have this conversation. So we yeah. snap back in. Reach. Right. So bring your family with us. You can keep. We can all keep an eye on them. But we need to start saving people now. We can't just sit about wait for things to happen. And we go north. 
Like I can't uproot my family. There is but there is trade that we have to deal with. Alone here. The the city the city will will capture him if we go and apprehend the threat up north. That's what I'm most concerned about. The city will protect them whatever we do. The city Plus, yes. But yeah. like so the or, say, the threat up north south, we can save two cities down south. Uh, then we head up north. How do you know we can save two cities down south? Can... How do we feel about splitting up? How do you feel about well, splitting up? Yeah, you need the hammer to go south. That's the problem. Ah, right. Okay. Yeah, he's your, I was thinking, he is your fast yeah. travel option, right? Yeah. No, because I was thinking me and Eric can go north, and yeah. well, I don't mind sending north. you guys. Can I send him with my hammer? Yeah. Is that a thing? Back. We, we ain't tried that. Yeah, I could probably send, send him to Horizon. You could send them through a portal, yes. That's all I can huh. say. Because that's all you then know. They just, then they just need to make their own way back. Actually, yeah. we wouldn't want to go to Horizon anyway. We want to go to the second portal. The second? Oh, oh yeah. Okay, yeah. I could send you. So, I could send you to the to wherever you want to go with my hammer, but I need to deal with the threat up north. If you feel you can deal with the Norks up north, then we are happy going south. Or is wherever, anyone else going to come or north wherever, with me? wherever that uh, portal is, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, sorry, so was, the mystery sorry, hellhole is the where you want to go reach, right? right? Yeah. As opposed to the Axis hellhole, right? Yeah. Because you're not sure if that's the same one or potentially different. <laughs> no, nah, it's a the desert hellhole. No, nah, nah, one in the desert. Cool. Yeah. The one with the chairs. <laughs> yeah, the one with the chairs. Um, right, so you want Eric to send you there, and you want two people to go north. No, so th I'll when she comes back next week. <laughs> yeah. I'll say, <laughs> Sophie will just go where all the loot is. So, <laughs> my recommendation as GM would be to not split the party. However, if you wish to, I'm gonna just yeah. let you just know that that. Think of how difficult fights have been, and I'll leave it at yeah, that. Yeah, that's yeah, another thing I was thinking of as well. I like, do not if it, believe if it's splitting the party for more than ten minutes. If you want to, just can. Days behind us, so we'll be able to loot their dead bodies afterwards. The way I would look at it is, two weeks travel north, which also means whatever's travelling south from north, is roughly two weeks travel, right? That is. How many long rests worth of hammer travel if you abused the hammer to go south and back? If Eric could be persuaded to take two days out of the two week journey yeah. it would take to go yeah. north. Yeah. I'm trying to say, yeah. It is just two days of a two week journey. Statistics add up. And you can three. hammer back from the villages up north to Glitter Hagen to cut out the two weeks back. Yeah. That is something that Do you... could be, Sorry. obviously, a way to find a compromise in there because it seems like we've got the Reach plan and the Eric plan at the moment, and I know Crumber wants to swing a, an axe at some orcs, so... I, feel I like... just want to <laughs> swing an axe and go, yeah! Yeah. Um, hmm. Right, I would say, let's deal with the threat let, uh, let's deal with the problem that the we, that as I a party... The thing that I don't understand is, like... Do we want the princess after this? <laughs> Chasing yeah, you with like... a broom. <laughs> That's, yeah. yeah. The I'd, thing I'd, that I, sorry. I, I, I don't understand is what would... Eric try to achieve by just staying here, because... Well, he's not. He wants to go deal with the threat up north. It's not staying here. It's... He wants to go stop the orc problem that's close to his home. Oh, right. okay. That's okay. his plan. Sorry. Yeah. I would say the best option okay, is Okay, so we're to... split over. Yeah. Sorry. No, for a second I, I, I totally misunderstood this. I thought he wanted to stay here in case like, the orcs those attack, orcs yeah. from the north. No, no, he wants yeah, to go that's... investigate that part so it doesn't happen. Yeah. Yeah. That's it. So that's what his plan is. Um, or I think I it? would be very interested in that as well, mm. simply because I've been told that they're, you know, unnatural mm. and thus against nature. 
Slilbass, in his mostly uninformed ways and wine-addled ways, did say that if yous have spoke of mass orc sacrifices, perhaps these people are being taken by these orcs yeah, to be sacrificed. Yeah, exactly. Maybe this is how these are these portals are being opened. So this could be yeah. leading to a hellhole or one that hasn't been ripped open yet. Yeah, potential hellhole. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Which might interest Justoria before it happens, right? But again, maybe, maybe not. Maybe it is worth informing her of the the herald, you know. <laughs> Possibly or important. A couple of doorways to hell on her back. Uh, yeah, doorstep. Yeah, right. <laughs> also, yeah, the other one. Yeah, Can the we try to send there. like a coded letter to Justoria? Yeah. The but problem is, Hellhole technology. One is fine because she went there with you and she closed it. Yeah. Right. Hellhole Two isn't. We just left it. But she doesn't know where that is, and neither do you. Exactly. You would need to use the hammer to take her there. Or go there and use the bracelet. So you could, in theory, send Arya there on her own and use the bracelet to get Justoria as a minimum to get yeah. Justoria to there. But there's no way to send her a letter saying, go to here, because you don't know where here is. No. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. yeah. Go, go <laughs> to that place. So, I have about. an idea. Right. Can you say it in so character? So, why don't... Yeah, cool. yeah, yeah. I can, I can definitely be like that. So I'm thinking, okay. So why don't we at least sort out that hellhole that we went to without Justoria? Maybe Eric and I could go there. I use the bracelet to summon Justoria there, and in the meantime, Glitterhagen will be protected by the rest of us that would stay here with your family. Would that be an acceptable solution? Mm. Yes, I know I hate this. it. I'm proposing to split the party, I'm sorry. Mm. <laughs> but the idea is to do it only momentarily. Well, mm. on, well the, on the hopes that your story will teleport you I... back to Glitterhagen? Yes. Yeah, that's <laughs> what yeah. I'm assuming. Uh -huh. And that, you know, she's not too busy to come there to us immediately. Yeah. Remember what happened when she closed the first one? Just as a point of memory, shall we yeah. say? Yeah. Lost it. Yeah, she was very... That's why I was saying two days, because there'd be one day charge to go down, yeah. one day charge to come back. Yeah. I, yeah. I know, I know. Looking at that in logic, honestly... That's I my way of trying to achieve everything. No, yeah, it's well, a good plan. She just yeah. needs to know where mm -hmm. it is, though. She doesn't actually need to close it there and there. Yep. Yeah, I think the best that, the best so. plan would be the we all take a two day. I mean, unless outage. we summon her to where we are now and just hope that she can look at the hammer and she'll just know where the hammer. <laughs> oh, she just checks know. the GPS data. <laughs> I mean, I mean, I'm just we, saying she's got yeah. magics we can't even begin to comprehend. So why know. don't we summon her now and invite her to dinner and then tell her you came over dinner. It's so subtle, I love it. Let's just invite Part Astoria to dinner. Yeah. Part of me that. looks at him, looks at everybody else, and I'm like, and, and you it. know, remembers what Astoria's place was like, and I'm thinking, you know, that's going to be a bit over underwhelming for her, but... Uh, if you bring her here, we're still going to need the Hammer of the uh, South. Or yeah. The desert. Hammer of the South. This yeah. sounds so wrong. It you leave the princess it. alone. But the thing is, so you can open a portal in theory, right? That you don't need to go through if you've got some kind of weird pulley system in place, right? Oh goodness! So, yeah, you don't necessarily need to fall through the portal you hit the ground to open. Um, so yeah, potentially you could send people through that you don't need to follow. Potentially, could I keep it open as well, so they could go there, break? Break said uh, bracelet, summon Justoria there, or she's here, she goes through with him. I mean, and then if she was where you are, you could just open the portal and let her walk through. But then it's up to you if you want to just leave her to it. Yeah, well, what happened last that... time probably not be the best idea. Yeah, Scott, I know you were excited there for a second, but like... I, I was like, that... I was going to say, that's not a bad you, idea, you but... You were yeah. standing right next to her when she went yeah. weirdly demonic-y reverby. <laughs> Exactly. 
I'm wondering if she'd even have the. Yeah, that was a bit she'd creepy. Be able to close another one. And keep in mind, there was only like what one sacrifice to open the last one, and then there was the pile mm. that opened that one. So if sacrifice is in relation to how much effort it how takes to open, how hard it is, yeah. yeah. If that's she the probably case, yeah. won't be able to do it on her own. But at least if she knows where it is now. Exactly. Well, that yeah. should help anyway. I mean, I am also a sorceress. So she could, like, tell me how to help her, and I can try help. Very, I mean, I'm nowhere near as strong as her. Very but yeah, but you're I could a possibly different type of sorcerer, aren't you? Yeah. Potentially, like, but. I don't know, apples and oranges? It's all fruit, might... to be honest, though, it's fine. <laughs> it may also just be like a drop in the ocean. But at the same time, a drop in the ocean in the desert is still something, right? So, the. Mm. I think at this point, we need to formulate a plan that encompasses the most efficient way to do everybody since that we have a bunch of stoic pillars in terms of plan making. Um, what will we do? Right, so the most important things are tell your story about the mystery portal. Right. And Mothman. Yep, and the Herald. Uh, and then there is the Northern Orc problem as well. That is, say, two weeks travel away north, at least to get to the village of um, West Deep Pearl. And yeah, you could easily hammer your way back from there to solve the travel problems there. You probably have to travel there. Um, but you could obviously, I mean, you could always try risking teleporting somewhere you've never been before, right? Or just a random. I, didn't have it. I mean, the thing, the thing is, as well, is we still have the potions along rest, so we wouldn't even necessarily need to waste a day, right? <laughs> just keep feeding Eric constantly. <laughs> just drug him up. Yep, it's just kinds of monster. That's all it is. Hashtag there are other energy drinks available also. Uh, so. But I mean, but yeah, like we could go down there, literally he tans a portion and then we can come back. Mm -hmm. So instead of being like a two day del delay, it would only be a couple hours. I mean, it's not charged no, now. both in and out of character, just saying. <laughs> mm -hmm. What, sorry? Yeah, no, that's okay. I know we're a mix. Um... Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think that. I, I think that's. I think, I think you've, honestly, got, you've I think... got enough to have this conversation. I think in character now. Also, they're not called potions of long rest in game. Just very potions. Yeah, potion. yeah. Just to FYI. So, do you want to see if we can resolve this in a, an omni plan? And we'll see if we can. Yeah. Right. Somebody hit a crumber. Hit Eric over the head with a hammer. He's got an axe now, it's really bad. Axe yeah, that's... Side, right? There's no blunt side, they're both axes. <laughs> I have an axe side and a more axe air side. <laughs> um, okay, right, so I think... I, I'll set the kind of scene that's kind of going on in my head. Basically, Eric and Reach have kind of been having this kind of back and forth between them two. I, I, I'd like to think that... Uh, Arya's kind of like trying to calm them both down in a way, like trying to be like Switzerland and stay <laughs> stay middle ground. Crumbar's and... like, what is Switzerland and why do I keep thinking of it? <laughs> well, why am I uh, the Soviet Union? <laughs> <laughs> then I'll, I'll just kind of boomy my voice up and be and say Look, you two, we, we will not get anywhere arguing. Let's think about this. Eric, we need you to charge the hat. We, we need to summon Justoria here. Charge the hammer. Head to the previous portal where we're at. From there, we can give you one of these potions that Justoria gave us. You'll be able to charge the hammer and we can be back. This shouldn't take more than a few hours. We should deal with the problem that we personally know of still. Um, and then we can go deal with the arc problem. Trust me, I know the arc threat. I, I know what, how you want to deal with the arc threat. Now, 
trust me, I want to deal with it too. But we cannot let our personal feelings get in the way of duty. Your plans are good and everything, but I physically haven't the uh, the magical power to charge the hammer right now. I already charged it once, and then we travelled here, and I still haven't rested from doing it. So it we'd have to wait till tomorrow anyway. Or drink uh, just to this potion. Out of character? I thought that like we can only have one long rest every day or something. Yep, so every 24 hours you can still only benefit from a singular long rest. The potion's just an action, like, so the 8 hours is condensed to a moment. Right, so you can't have like You couldn't multiple... just tan all 5 of them oh, and have him so... do like rapid journeys across the cosmos. So Ryan, you... <laughs> why do you ruin my fun? I think I've provided the fun. Just say it. <laughs> <laughs> mm, I don't know. Ken, I don't like you right now. <laughs> okay, I'll, go, I'll go delete that axe then two seconds. No! <laughs> oh, you're messing about in my character sheet. Yeah, messing about. Where did you put the dot? Like, where is the description of this? Why don't you have it here? For... The potion? Where did I put it? Yeah. That's what I'm looking for. I'm assuming somebody has it written somewhere. Uh, I think I've got it in my bio. Go yeah. on, Sorry, that was, I think I've got it written in my bio. I think uh, that was it. it just says, yeah, all benefits of long rest following the same restrictions. Yeah. I could have sworn I wrote this down somewhere. I don't know where. It's okay, I've got, I'll pop it into the uh, the chat here so that this is what I put in his. Right. So. I'll just close all these days. Knows you through everybody else's. Um, if we have a, re a, lo a rest yeah, now. So if he's rest tonight, right, over dinner, right, mm -hmm. and then it becomes the next day, right, because mm -hmm. he's rested, <coughs> excuse me, he's rested to get to the morning of this day, right? So you could rest from now all the way up until dinner. Mm -hmm. See, tonight you could teleport because he could have charged he can charge the hammer tonight right mm -hmm. sure. on the today mm -hmm. and then when you get to where you are going you will need to spend a day but you could drink a potion as soon as that restriction was up it would charge you fully without having to wait eight hours doing nothing like eating dinner you aren't like going out and constantly hunting the dinner, so the rest that you are currently taking today can just be mulling around this mansion, you know, reading books lightly and chatting to each other and then having dinner together. That can be your long rest today. It doesn't mm. always need to involve sleep. Then technically, you could go in like late, like the evening tonight after dinner. You could just teleport to Horizon if you wanted to, spend the night there. Yeah. Depending on where you sleep, of course. Let's go to the portal. Right. Okay. Now? Not right now, but... I was going to say, because you could drink the potion now, have your long rest for today, and just go now, if you wanted to. Oh, yeah. Well, what... But if you did that, then you'd have to wait a day before you could come back. Plus, we have dinner plans. Yeah. I'm not a band dinner plans. It's yeah, like so right, dinner right. and your family again. Yeah. <laughs> okay, right. We should we should rest. Yeah, you'll rest, rest up here. and have dinner. Rest up and have dinner, then we'll go to the portal. And then crack a bracelet. Right. Yep, summoning Justoria to the mystery portal. Yeah. And then in theory, that should let her know where it is, regardless. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right? So if she turns up or she doesn't, you still broke the bracelet there. You could even leave it there if you wanted to, if you were brave. And then... No, I mean, who wants to carry around a broken bracelet, right? It's more just to say what people could do with it, right? And they uh, could leave that there. Especially these high magic users that you're encountering at these portals, right? Um, and then... I mean, yeah. But easily you could go in there, you don't even need to wait, you could break it, leave it, and bugger off if you really wanted to. You could just entrust that entirely to her, or you could stay and try and wait and see if she shows up. 
help her close it. Then return to uh, Glitterhagen and try to head up north. But any time the hammer is used, you're going to need to wait a day to effectively charge it. Unless Eric has enough sorcery points all in by burning himself out completely. Mm. How many spell levels total do you have? Uh, uh, total. So you got what? Two uh, threes, so that's six points. I've got, I've got a two, a three, and a four. So I three, three, nine. I have nine, and I get five sorcery points. So you've got four level one spells, is that right? Yep. So that's four points. How many level twos do you get? Three. Three. So that's six points. So that's ten already. Actually, that's seven, by the way. So not. <coughs> yeah. That is. Sorry. No, I'm right. I'm right. Because well, four, three. four, but you've got three level two spells. Five, level six, two six, is six. Sorcery uh, points the equal to the spell level. I'm right. It's right. ten. And then you've got two level three slots, right? Yeah, which is uh, six. six. So you're at 16, yeah, and five the five, points. which is... Yeah, so we can do two travels a day now. Look at that. So we're one hour, well, technically we're five minutes away. So we could do it before dinner. You could. But we'll wait if for I drop the potion. <laughs> yeah, if he drinks the potion, he could take you to Horizon and back before dinner. Yeah, but we'll... Waiting for dinner might be good, just in case, you never know, uh, and I'm hungry. Yeah. <coughs> yeah. And it's uh, been really awkward for you to try to organise this dinner, so... <laughs> <laughs> sure, you don't know that! <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Weirdly, the bracelet that uh, Arya has just broadcasts the whole conversation to you, oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> So, right, you are having that conversation, um, you make your plans, obviously, you agree that you are going to to whatever you are doing and you can obviously discuss that and have that out next time when you actually go to open the portal and decide who's arguing over you know where you go and um yeah at that point uh is it Livian her name is yes yeah Livian I uh, like as you like everybody heads towards like their rooms to dump their stuff and whatnot and get ready for dinner and wash up and rest in general um Livian walks up to you so like Making plans to leave so soon, brother. I should be back fairly fast. Hmm. And you can just hear the disappointment, like in our <laughs> breathing. Trust me, I don't want to leave, but responsibilities take me away. She kind of laughs and stops herself very quickly. She's like, okay, responsibilities, Eric. Yeah, because you know about that. And she kind of says, sorry, it's been a very trying day. I see you met that bitch. Huh? <laughs> and we'll end there. <laughs> <gasps> you love your friggin' cliffhanger. <laughs> <laughs> I could say, I see you met that bitch, Dukana, but that's fine. Mm -hmm. We'll leave it, we'll leave it at that. Um, just um, in case I was going to say, I'm like, I hope she doesn't mean my hat, my axe. <laughs> what, what, the, the by Bob axe? <laughs> uh, so good. Right, anyway, let's stick to our format and look at goals. So, Eric, legitimized trade with Horizon. Probably next week if you have a chat with the yep. right people. Be next week. Um, mm -hmm. Are you? You're definitely working on Learn Inferno from Crumbar, definitely. Oh yeah. Um, <laughs> Crumbar, I think you completed the goal. Yay! <laughs> Boop. All right. What I want you to do is copy. Nope. I want you to fix that. Nope. Undo it. Oh god, why is it ugly? There you Just go. copy paste that line under the new system. Yep, perfect. And then just click into that and hit delete. There we go, perfect. You don't need to change anything else now. Now, that is worth 50 times your level in XP for everyone. Whoop, whoop. That's math I, I can do right money. now. I feel like I've traded money for XP. 
<laughs> Pretty you basically, much. Basically, you bought a microtransaction. <laughs> so every day had two fifty. Yeah, two fifty. Yeah. Yep. Every day had two fifty. So Weirdly, bad. Kitty somehow completed her goal, which was waiting until next week, maybe? We'll find out next week if she completes <laughs> that, I guess. Um, and then, Reach, you're working on it still. Um, you got word to Slelbass, yeah. who might get word to GGW. GG. I think yeah. the only way you'd really know about that is if GGW like, contacts you, or if you see Gil be like, oh, hey, cheers for that, buddy. Yeah. But we'll find out on that, because that might be worth a lot of XP if that becomes a a rollover goal. Um, which I don't mind if that is the case. I also don't mind if you guys want to like put goals back in the ideal list temporarily to like swap them out for other goals in the meantime. Um, as well if there's more kind of important goals that come up. Um, unless Crumber has a goal instantaneously right now. Uh, mm, I want to... Wait till maybe next week. That's fine. Totally fine by me. Has um, everybody added the XP onto their sheet? Because I never did it to Sophie, so I should probably go do I'm that trying. now. I'm trying. I'll do that just now. Add this on to Sophie's. Um, where are we? It's about 7750. Seven, 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 there we go. That makes sense. That's right, isn't it, every day? 7750? Good. Yeah. Good, good, good. It, no, no, it's 10,000, Ryan. What are you talking about? Uh, I'm pretty sure it's 20,000, but. <laughs> I debt, maybe. Um, right. And let me have a look at Arya, see how you're getting on with yours. Yeah, one sec. I'm trying to get back into roll 20. I had to close and be open. It's okay. It's done. It's been added. Awesome. Thank you. No problem. Um, right, uh, does MD have a specific goal they want to change out right now, or is everybody happy to wait until... Uh, leave it. Leaves on next week, yeah, see how we go. Oh, Crumbar needs a new antenna. Yeah, but you can put that in at the start <laughs> of next week if you want. Mm -hmm. I've kind of got my ideas at the side still, I've added to them. Mm -hmm. Now, to not have you guys zoom through levelling up, so quickly mm -hmm. as well with easy goals like buying a weapon I'm probably not going to be allowing such super easy to achieve things like buying things from stores those won't be viable goals yeah. it will need to be things like pretty much everybody else has put in <laughs> but that's fine at least it gets us started yeah, for him it works because that's like yeah. I don't know, an important thing to acquire a new weapon one way or another. And it introduces to Roberta, and the badass blacksmith, right? So. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, it we, we could have probably board. made it a bit harder for him if uh, if we weren't there and he could have been like, okay, what do you need done? And she probably could have made him do some work for it, I don't know. Yeah, very potentially, he is a big strong. Why didn't so. I think of that? Because <laughs> I, mean, uh, I feel that you probably didn't want to whore yourself out, you know, after your recent experience. <laughs> wow. Granted in a different way, but still. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, <laughs> let's then have our roundup chat. I'm going to leave Eric till last okay. so he gets the most awkward build-up and we'll start with Reach. <laughs> awkward would be weird anyway. and a dwarf's probably unheard of in fantasy worlds. Just... A half dwarf. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Oh, yeah, so, uh, round up to chat, Reach, how, how did this session go for you? Uh, hard work. <laughs> mm. uh, uh, interesting, we've kind of got lots of things here, there, everywhere, so I just want to try and reduce them, that's all. Yeah, because you're kind of at that point where you're now like, okay, we're jumping between masters, essentially. It's like, we've got Glitterhagen, we've got the Citadel, we've got Storia, like, where are we yeah. resolving? Yeah. If it was a computer game, the quest log would be too full, maybe. Yeah, yeah and it's when you try and complete a side quest, but it gives you two new quests, you're like, why? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I hate totally. it when that happens. Uh, yeah. Speaking of Crumbar, <laughs> <laughs> how did you find this session? Your cooldown chat, please. Uh... Yeah, restful I, was it? Yeah, the wee short rest midway through the game. Yeah, yeah, we, we um, yeah. Deep well, I mean, thought. I'm, I'm yeah. yeah. Deep yeah. <laughs> I just, um, you know, was getting right into character as well. Uh, no, I like the whole individual 
goal things, I felt that it kind of made everyone have a kind of, yep, this is what I want to do this session. Yeah, and ultimately, I don't want the goals to pull the party apart. Feel free that they can all be like five pillars on one overall goal, if that makes sense as well, if need be. Like, the whole plan to, say, save Gil, or, like, reinforce the Citadel, everybody can do, like, a, their own mm. individual component of that, um, etc., if need be. It doesn't need to always be five individually totally separate things. Um, but no, I think it's, as I said, we'll trial this. If it doesn't work out and it does seem to be pulling everybody in five different directions, we'll go back to a particle system. I just want to see how this goes, because I think it could be quite cool to see mm. uh, the progress of it. Uh, anything else, sorry? Mm, I got an axe. I'm you got a better than axe. You got a great axe. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm and potentially a friend. A mm -hmm. Potentially a friend. Uh, just so you know, your next um, level up is at fourteen thousand. That's the checkpoint we're all aiming for now. Oh wow! I've got double oh, wow. attack. I don't care. <laughs> potentially triple attack. Seriously, that's the thing. Uh, no, you have a great weapon master, so... Oh, right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so, yeah. Mm -hmm. Things are about to get damaging. Yup, yup, yup. Like they weren't already for you. Yeah, no, that's gonna be mm -hmm. good. Um, are ya? Well, <laughs> um... I think, uh... It was a very session for our very interesting session for our here because obviously she's like back in the city, mm -hmm. so maybe not very happy about that, but happy at the prospect that you know we'll be out and about soon again, mm -hmm. and um, you know very I don't know probably interested in finding a place that's quite secluded and like you know just being in nature on her own a bit and. And, and practicing, you know, with her bow and stuff. And I guess you could always something she might want. You could scout ahead for the rest of the party while you're traveling. If you did decide to travel north, you could always scout ahead a bit and make sure mm -hmm. that's uh a... I don't walk faster than everybody. I don't think I could do that. No, but you could literally just be the scout that goes ahead, and they all hang behind, I guess, waiting for you yeah. to signal them to come on. Because you could easily use yeah. like Ruya to go and. When Ruya yeah, flies to yeah. them, they'll catch up to you, and then you'll scout ahead again. You yeah, could stagger that way if you wanted to. We it's... could totally do that, mm -hmm. yeah. And um, I have to say that, like, out of character, I really liked, like, at the beginning when we got there, and how you kind of like managed to like role play the sister going with information <laughs> that you were obviously just being provided <laughs> with just there. Thank <laughs> so you. So I thought that was quite quite well done, <laughs> and it was quite interesting for us, so for me at least, to. Yeah, well, that's it. Like, so I, that, was enter that was entertaining. It's fun to get you guys to give me the details from your backstory, right? Because it's more important to you if you help craft it, right? And um, I asked enough questions to get the types of personality that I needed for them, so that was a uh, fun. Yeah. That was good. But uh, yeah, uh, that was very fun. And yeah, so my character will be looking to, like, you know explore and expand on her new skills and spells and stuff so to like get properly comfortable with them. Yeah I can't wait to see the <laughs> fully armed and operational Arya, it's gonna be good. Yeah. Especially with the forest yeah, fire that's bow. gonna be interesting. Yeah it's gonna be good. Um, yeah. Eric. What? The roundup chat. This is the part you know we do every session where we talk about the session. Yeah, it was good meeting my family. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, brilliant. Like, thanks for your roundup chat. I guess. <laughs> like, it's like meeting them for the first time. Yeah. Well, they're like um, just like introduce them to stories. Quite cool. Like, I had the, I had the names planned for a while. I don't know where I wrote them. I thought I put them in my character sheet, but I didn't. So, yeah. Um, yeah, that was quite cool meeting them and. Uh, the idea of um, Glitterhagen possibly being threatened by mutated orc barbarians is quite interesting. Mm. I mean, none of us said barbarians. You added that in there, racist. But <coughs> at the same time, uh, yeah. Class, classist. Yeah, right. 
I personally, <laughs> I personally really liked Decana, personally. But yeah, okay. Your family, I guess they were cool. Um, <laughs> <laughs> obviously, Madeline really likes Decana, and clearly, uh, Livian really doesn't like Decana. So, mm, that's fun. Well, she is a noble lady. You using the B word like that tells you a lot. Yeah. Hmm. And possibly watching out of a window, watching her brother stumble over his words and feet with a pretty. I I do that anyway, so it's fine. Yeah. So <laughs> just just do Doesn't mean to say that uh, Livian is necessarily going to be polite at dinner, and I can't wait. It's going to be uh, fun. Um, yeah, that's good. Anything else you want to add there, Eric? It was quite an Eric-heavy session, which was quite good. No, that's uh, no, good. Good, good. I enjoyed it. Good. Part is it the new doll system I like as well. Yeah, we'll see how it goes anyway. As I said, if we don't like it, we can change it again. I'm open to trying to get the the best fit for us because it might. I might find that I feel it's leveling you too quickly this way. We'll work it out. Um, mm. I might even just make it like a static amount of XP for a bit based roughly on level. Maybe 50 times that times 5 is maybe too much, but we'll find out. Um, naming the session... But it's fun to level up! Oh, definitely. 100%. Uh, what we're calling the session. Any thoughts? Bed knobs and crumb bars. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's a suggestion, yeah. <laughs> Uh, Play prejudice and battles. <laughs> <laughs> um, I really don't hate. Was it portals and prejudice? Yeah, like portals, prejudice. Yeah. And yeah, works. Oh God, yeah, right. that's that's really good. Yeah, let me try and spell that right. Is that right? Yeah. So yeah, that looks right. Yeah. Um, so that's an option. We had obviously bed knobs and crumbar. Um, Sounds like an X-rated movie. It does, sure. doesn't it? Um, yeah. The whole time I was playing Dakana, I, I was like, I wonder if if Eric ever tries to flirt with her back, does he know his bed's broken? So, <laughs> <laughs> probably not the only bed in the house, so that's fine. Um, right, what else have we got here? Um, be your guest, I guess, could be an option as well. <laughs> Unexpected guests. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Flux so Deluxe. Party, so yeah. yeah. Enough. yeah quite <laughs> Family First, also an option. Um, Clueless with the ladies. <laughs> that covers more than one character, just saying. Rude. Mm. Uh, Honest. Still rude. State of Flux isn't bad, So actually. Because it kind of covers yeah, the city problems. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, state of flux. I quite like that one actually. Um, what's everybody's thoughts, right? Yeah. So I'm gonna put my wee vote in there. That's right. I should put like state of flux as well. Go yeah. for that. Yeah. Quite like that. So we've got ourselves a name. All good. State of flux. Excellent. Uh, the state of New York. <laughs> <laughs> the state of Glitter of course. Yeah. Uh, under the United Kingdom of the Wizard King. Uh, right, well, that is us having concluded the session. We will <laughs> have fun catching Sophie up on the absolute madness. Oh, God. I think she'll have been absolutely gutted um, to have missed Callum's RP with the uh, oh. kind of... Oh my God, no. Yeah, uh, so good. Um... Love it to bits. Uh, thanks for playing, guys. It was a pleasure. Yeah, uh, Thank you. it's always fun. Yes, and we'll see everybody in the next session. Goodbye, everybody. Bye, Bye. everybody. Bye.